Oh, as I say that, it breaks in half. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are playing Sinking Simulator 2 again. And I have just recently finished this ship, this is the NS Savannah, and what's interesting about it, it is not coal powered. And it's not diesel powered, it's actually nuclear powered. It has a nuclear reactor inside which powers the ship. So yeah, we'll be sinking it today. And I wanna give a quick shout out to Reno. He's a YouTuber and he's part of the Discord team for Sinking Simulator 2. I'll have his channel and the Discord channel linked in the description. He makes great videos on how to build ships for Sinking Simulator. Um, and yeah, go check him out. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. All right, so I think we should uh, bump the waves up a bit. Oh, that's speed. Um, um, let's bump the wave height up. All right, and let's begin the flooding. So let's start flooding um, this lower compartment here and see what that does. So pretty much nothing as you'd expect. All right, so um, yeah, not much of anything after that. So we'll unflood that entire compartment to see what happens. Ooh, wow, the whole propeller is out of the water because of these waves. And um, the heavy weight because that entire area is flooded now. So we're just going to move through each compartment and flood it. So let's start flooding this next one. And I believe the ship will split. I don't know if it will. It is quite stuck. Oh, as I say that, it breaks in half right in between the crane and uh, the cargo hold. So, yep, the double bottom is holding on and it should hold on for a little bit. Oh, it's actually splitting. There it goes. It's broken. Water is gushing into the forward section and uh, will soon go under. Yeah, these waves are making it difficult for it to sink. But it's going down, nonetheless. It's dragging the uh, larger portion a bit as well. Yep, now it's just hanging on. That's a little weird looking. It's just hanging on by the double bottom. Yeah, so this ship was actually made for Atoms for Peace. I believe that was the company or organization that made it. And um, it was organized to be built because they wanted to show the public how nuclear power isn't just bad and it can be used for good, like powering a ship. Now, I believe this was both cargo and passenger. So it was um, a very interesting ship. It did not sink in real life. Um, I believe it is docked in Rhode Island, which is interesting and it's nice. I wanna go see that. Because, yeah, it's a nuclear-powered ship. Start flooding the nuclear reactor, which would surely explode, probably. And radiation would spill out everywhere, and it would be a total disaster. So, looks like the bow has impacted the bottom now. And it's trying to settle, so it's pulling the double bottom hull down. But there's so much buoyancy in here that it's just not letting it do that. So, it could break. It should be breaking, actually. And more of the double bottom is ripping off. Now it's just becoming a huge chain of metal. Yeah, this thing is gonna go down. It is going down, actually, yeah. It's split right in half. But these compartments are doing a good job of holding the water back. Go on, goodbye, bridge. It's time for you to sink now. There it goes. Oh, I think it's going, it might be going, I don't know. It's starting to pitch up now. So it's going into that um, nose down kind of thing. But what's interesting is there is no nose or no bow on this, so it's kind of just going straight up into the air, as we usually see in Sinking Simulator. All right, so the cargo holds are flooding in now, which is causing more flooding, and um, it is causing it to drop faster. So we're just gonna end it now. We're just gonna let it go under. All right, the crane is about to go under, and it is under, so... Oh, nope. Yeah, it's gone. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.